My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. This is a truck camp adventure. I just hit the road. I have roughly, I don't know, an hour and a half to drive to get to my destination. Today, it's hot, it's humid, so I'm going up. Higher elevation to beat the heat. And I'm bringing you all along with me. Right now, it's about 10.30 a.m. It is 80 degrees and only getting hotter. Humidity, this out everyone at the bottom of the mountain the last time I looked 81 degrees right now 68 Woo! that's amazing 68 degrees and foggy <laughs> I love it it does not get any better than this also the road is rough. My friends, this is absolutely perfect in so many ways. This is the perfect spot. 68 degrees right now, up in the fog. The chances for rain, they're high. So, first things first, I'm going to show you all around. Then I'm going to set up a tarp over the back of my truck so I can have a nice, good, livable area where I could stay dry just in case it rains. This is absolutely perfect, everyone. Peaceful, quiet, lots of solitude. The views up here are amazing on a beautiful sunny day, but today we're not seeing much. At least, not at the moment. What I have here is a 10 by 10 tarp that I'm going to string up over the backside of the truck here. It's not about sun protection, more about ventilation when it rains. Maybe I'm inside of the truck at nighttime, I can have the tailgate up, or if it starts raining right now or in a few hours, I could be underneath this. I could even be in the back of the truck and I'll have great airflow. While it's not all that hot up here, it is very, very humid, so... It's all about airflow to stay comfortable. As part of my overland system, I have multiple tarps. I have some that are huge, some that are smaller like this one. 
and they all have a valuable purpose. If I'm set up in a very sunny, exposed location, I want a big tarp. I want to cover as much of the truck as possible. That will decrease overall heat inside of the truck and around the truck. But for a location like this, I need scaled back protection. Now everyone, we are in awesome shape. The tarp has been set up, bug protection set up. Now I'm going to get the back of the truck ready for tonight. And then it's lunchtime because I'm starving. Talking about this setup for a second, this is super simple to do, it's very quick. It's also very inexpensive. If I can remember to do so, I will put links down below for you all so you all can see the gear list. This right here is one awesome device. This is a compressor. You can use it to inflate your tires and also your sleeping pads. And for this sleeping pad, I need it. I believe it's from a company called Wenzel. But this is a seriously comfortable sleeping pad. Yeah, Wenzel. A viewer sent me one of these and I loved it. It's so good, in fact, that Susie and I both have one now. We bought another one. It really is an awesome product. The only problem is that it's huge, and because it requires so much air, you will need some sort of air pump to blow this thing up. Seriously. Already, everyone, the storms are firing up. They're not close, maybe 30, 40 miles away, something like that. We have the bug mesh set up to keep all the black flies out. I have a table set up. I have my sleeping pad inflated. I have my bedding and all that ready to go. I have the lights. I have my fan. Oh yeah. That's it everyone. As I mentioned, that's a very easy setup, a very inexpensive setup. The most expensive component is either the compressor that I've used so far, or maybe this tarp. This tarp is pretty pricey. But this thing is bomber, it's bomb proof. This is from AquaQuest and they make some of the best tarps out there. Lunch is going to be very, very simple everyone. Simple, but tasty. Sourdough bread, ham, cheddar cheese. Oh yeah. Let's give it a shot. That is awesome. The black flies out here, they're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they are really, really annoying. Because of my ankle being so sore after that short 34 mile hike, I don't plan to do much hiking on this trip. This really is more about just hanging out here at camp and relaxing. Now, there are a set of towers over here. We may actually hike the road and go check those out here in a minute. 
For individuals who like to go, go, go like myself, taking it easy, that could be hard to do. There's something mildly uncomfortable about just sitting around not doing anything, at least for myself. What about you? Do you have the same issue? I like to just be on my feet. I like to be moving. So like taking time to recover, to heal up. Yeah, it's a little bit, what's the word? Unfamiliar, maybe? Something like that. What an incredible place to take it easy at. I mean, this really is awesome. That is so much better, folks. Those black flies were driving me nuts. As you may know, black flies, they don't really care about bug deterrent, bug repellent, and whatnot, but they do not like smoke. So I have a small smoky fire going, the flies are gone, life is good. <laughs> Before, I couldn't even think straight, just like tap, 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 tap. It's driving me nuts. All right, folks, let's go out for a quick little walk. <laughs> I can't sit still any longer. So, as far as the weather goes, it's changing rapidly. We have thunder back here. We have some building dark clouds over here. Okay. Now, there's thunder over here. <laughs> We have this super big dark monster forming over here. Uh, tell you what, we may not hike very far for the simple fact that if it started pouring, I don't know if we'd get back in time. I'm not sure if we would even see the rain unless it was on top of us. But it is beautiful, everyone. Just gorgeous. The fog has dissipated, and it's beautiful. This cloud here is getting bigger, it's getting dark, and it's actually getting lower. I don't see any rain yet there, but I do see some heavy rain falling over here. Falcon. It's time for the falcons to nest. And actually, there's a cliff over here where they nest at. So I'm not going to go any further. I don't want to disturb them. But yeah, there's the tower. I don't remember what this is exactly. There's another set of towers up here, and I believe they're FAA towers. This could be too. I don't know. I can tell you that it's not a cell tower because my service sucks. <laughs> it's awful. I wonder how often that gets struck by lightning. It's pretty close to my campsite. <laughs> Whoa. Check this out. The sky is bizarre looking. What is that? Hopefully that's showing up on camera. That's incredible. It's like a sideways rainbow in a cloud. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm not sure how good that looks on camera, but in person, it's really, really bizarre. Well, it's dissipating, but... That was awesome. Right now we have a storm over here. We have another over here and one back there.
Check this out, everyone. A Helinox Chair 1. A viewer sent this in to me. This chair weighs about one pound. It's one of the lightest weight chairs out on the market. And I cannot wait to set this up. It looks like it sets up the exact same way as all of the other foldable chairs out on the market. The ones from Sport Near, One Tigress, and so on. Whew, the chair is awesome. <laughs> to the viewer who sent this in, thank you so much, my friend. By the way, I have no idea who you are. There was no note in the box. There was nothing. There was only two chairs, one in the uh, camo pattern, and there was a solid black one. So to whoever you are, thank you so very much. Susie and I greatly appreciate it. Reviews on these chairs coming soon, thanks to you. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. By the way, I was going to mention these. These are coin bags, and you could find about a million uses for these. You can get like an entire stack of these things super inexpensively, and like I said, you can use them for anything. I like to use them for coffee. I use them for fire starter. You could shave up magnesium, put it inside of one of these. You can also take steel wool and put it inside one of these. Steel wool makes an excellent fire starter and it can be ignited with flint and steel. You don't have to use a match. You don't have to use a battery. You can do it with just a simple spark. That's a nice piece of cedar right there. And here we have my carving kit. As it stands right now, folks, I'm not sure what I'm going to make here. Maybe a bowl. Personally, I like carving. You could be creative. I mean, the sky's the limit on what you can do. <laughs> what I'm working on right now I'm taking out this notch here. This is a little Mora wood carving knife. Super sharp, folks. That cedar smells so good. By the way, everyone, my kit, that is something that I've put together over the course of time. Every kit needs to be personal. You will discover the more you whittle, the more you woodwork, what works for you, what doesn't. So you can see there, maybe, I've begun rounding the edge there. I'm going to round all the way around this thing. That's nicely put, isn't it? I'm going to round all the way around this thing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, folks, as far as the afternoon goes, nice, smooth, pleasant. It's been nice and quiet. It's been storming all day, all around us, but yet, Nothing here, nothing so far. I'm starting to round this, as you all can see. Now, of course, I'm not going to bore you all to death <laughs> with me working on this, but uh, yeah, if you like to work with wood, if you like to create like I do, send me some pictures, folks. I would love to see what you've done, what you've come up with. It's dinner time for sure, everyone. And to start it off, let's have a drink, shall we? What I have here is some sort of German alcohol. A viewer sent this to me. I couldn't read a single word on the bottle, but I can tell you, it is awesome. It's very, very smooth. For dinner tonight, we have super thick bacon, burger, beef patty, cheddar cheese,
Cheers, everyone. Now, to be honest, I'm not a big drinker. Here and there, I'll have a shot of something or have a beer. That's about it, really. I'm more of a social drinker than anything else. For an example, my daughter, she just came into town. Maddie, I love you. She brought her boyfriend and she brought his parents as well. Everybody is super awesome, super nice. But um, yeah, <laughs> I have to admit, I had a couple of beers to make it through all of those visits. <laughs> I don't know everyone, she seems pretty serious about this guy. They've been dating for, oh, maybe like a year and a half, something like that. A few months back, I made a turkey burger. This is a beef burger. I like turkey. Turkey is awesome. It has a really good flavor, like all by itself. Sometimes it's even better than beef. I mean, it really depends on how you season it, but. All right, folks. Let's eat. All right, everyone. Cheeseburger time. Mmm. That is freaking awesome. That is cooked to perfection. No pink. I don't like pink. Not a fan. Absolutely bizarre. I hear a vehicle coming. It came down, turned around, went back out. From the moment I heard that vehicle, I mean, I could still hear her. She's laughing hysterically, but not a normal laugh. Anytime that you go to remote areas, you will find people like that. It's amazing. In no time, it will be cold, here at least. I mean, we're going into September. Oftentimes we have our first snow in October. That's exciting to me. Already the growth stage has slowed, so grass is not growing as fast, bushes and so on. Leaves are changing colors, already begun falling. Yeah. Fall is right around the corner and I'm super excited. Not only am I excited for it to get cooler, but Susie and I, we have a road trip coming up. Talk in a moment about that vehicle that went by with that woman just laughing hysterically. I tell you what, it's situations like that. It's people like that. You really have to be careful. 
when uh, people are strung out on drugs, I mean, you just never know what is going to happen. They may be your best buddy, but then again, they may be your worst enemy. You just do not know. And as soon as I heard the vehicle come in, and I heard that woman, at first I was confused. I was like, what the h is that, right? And then as it got closer and closer, I'm like, okay. Like, instantly my spidey senses went off telling me, hey, like, something's wrong. You need to be prepared. I was, I am. You never know. They could be the salt of the earth, the best people in the whole world, but they might not be. And you have to make a judgment call and you have to live with the repercussions. Just really, really bizarre. Really, really bizarre. I mean, she wasn't laughing like that because she smoked a joint. It's something else. I've mentioned it before, but my family, on both sides, mom and dad, there's a lot of issues when it comes to drugs, like hardcore drugs. So, I mean, I've lost some family members to it. Two cousins directly, a third indirectly, but still all tied together. Um, another cousin, he's in prison right now. I've mentioned this before, I have a cousin and uh, hooked on drugs, right? After spending some time in prison, he got out, got clean, got sober, you know, got married, had a kid, then went right back to it. And now he's probably going to see numerous years in jail, in prison, I mean. So, um, it's one of those things, folks. It's best not to even start it. To any kid who is watching this, right? Any young person. The best thing to do is don't even try it. You never know the effect it's going to have on you. Everybody's wired differently. For some people, you could smoke pot, you could do other drugs, no big deal. And then for other people, you could smoke pot and it takes you on a, on a trail to like disaster town. So, I mean, everybody's just different. And I've seen both sides, right? Anyways, folks, getting off of that topic. Uh, such a mess. The plan's pretty simple. I'm going to sit around the fire here, just enjoy it for a little bit longer. It's getting cold. <laughs> I think I'm just about ready to hop inside of the truck. I might even seal it up. My plan was originally to just leave it open, use the bug mesh, but um, yeah, it's actually uh, getting pretty cold, so I might have to seal it up. I shouldn't say cold, right? It's getting chilly. <laughs> Folks, it's a little bit after 10 p.m. and it's time for me to kick back and watch a movie. I think that's the plan. I am going to watch the movie The Hunter. It has William Defoe in it and you should watch it too. It is excellent. I actually read the book a long time ago and I think I like the movie even more so. Good morning, everybody. It's about six o'clock. And it's time to get up. No. Ah. Last night was good. Slept really good. It's a fast night. It's funny. Man, it must have rained last night for hours. Hours and hours. <laughs> yeah, that was peaceful, though. Made for some very good sleeping. Good morning, everyone. It is, without a doubt, coffee time. I figured I'll make coffee inside of the truck, and that's because it's rather breezy out there. It's chilly and breezy. The plan for the day is pretty simple. I'm going to have coffee, have breakfast, and then I'm going to see my daughter before she leaves town. Basically, just get out of here and go see her, say goodbye, because it's more than likely going to be, I don't know, maybe another year before I see her again. That is how it works, everyone. When you have a child in the military, that's what it's like.
Breakfast this morning is very simple. Toast, butter, jam. Perfect. That's one of my favorites right there. Cheers, everyone, cheers. All right, everyone, we are done. We have the coffee, the toast. Oh yeah, let's see how this is. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> In my opinion, there's nothing better than butter and jelly, or is it jam? What's the difference? I don't know. I had planned to do a bushcraft trip for my next adventure, but there's a tropical storm on the way, Tropical Storm Fred. So it's supposed to be here early next week, and you and I will be out in that storm. If you're looking for good tarp poles, I can easily recommend these. They are from a company called Green Elephant. You know, everyone, since having the encounter with that woman who was laughing in that truck yesterday, that has been on my mind basically for this entire trip. It has been a long time since I've seen someone that messed up. Like she was just laughing nonstop. I mean, it went on for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. I kept hearing some guy yelling at her, telling her to shut up. And it, like she would stop for a second and then go right back to it. Folks, that's the real world, unfortunately. My friends, thank you all so much for joining me for this trip. On to the next adventure. This was a pretty low key trip all in all. I was hoping for more thunderstorm action, but it just didn't happen. But, uh, the next adventure should be a wild one. Tropical Storm Fred or Tropical Depression or Hurricane, whatever it may be, it's on its way. <laughs> Whatever it is, we will face it together head on. We'll have some fun with it. But until I see you all again, everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye everybody.
slows. 